Well, welcome to the uh, the man cave of advancedmotorcycletraining.com and the new 1200 GS LC T model uh, purchased from Williamses of Manchester just before Christmas, uh, second hand, uh, first registered in October 2015 and returned to their work show, uh, showrooms with 215 miles on the clock so virtually a new bike what we've got is uh, hopefully when the weather does pick up I'm going to be looking at uh, doing some reviews of the bike I know there's a lot of people been doing the reviews uh, so I'll probably use the systems I've got uh, what we've got now obviously is that uh, I need to uh, get the vehicle kitted for advanced training uh, there's no autocon fitted and there's no cameras fitted yet so uh, early days but whilst the weather's been a bit uh, naff I mean it's a nice February now it's raining outside I've added some extras and the extras have been uh, managed been purchased as a result of selling all the accessories off the old bike which is still for sale recently just fitted the uh, Tortec headlight screen I quite like that one it's uh, just a couple of brackets quite nicely fitted all the uh, nuts bolts washes screws come with it and if you just remove it quite easily just pull off like that and push it on so obviously at night time you can take it off starting at the front of the bike we can go down a little bit and see that uh, I've fitted a uh, mudguard extender and then I've also fitted some very very what well, I think st stylish crash bars from SW Motec in black uh, moving up a bit towards the, the tank I've always been a fan of Bagstar uh, kit, I quite like it, it, it uh, fits the bike and I was looking at uh, probably covering the bike with a film to stop the paint uh, degrading or uh, getting scrubbed but in the meantime I saw this uh, tank bag uh, quite cheap, about £30-£40 cheaper than the UK price and that's come direct from France via eBay uh, I've got a couple of got a couple of bag star tank bags I can put on, so that will come in quite handy. I've also fitted, in case I need it, the uh, bags connection ring, which I can also put a bags connection tank bag on there. So you can see on the uh, the seat, I've also invested in some hand handlebar guards uh, made by Tortec. Uh, not convinced about them yet. I know that they look a little bit flimsy as they are at present with not much protection to the hands. Once the Tortex fitted, it does actually extend that, that little bit more so you might get a little bit more protection. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned about is they're drilled. You have to drill your existing uh, handlebar guard. Uh, probably have a think about that because there is another there's another version of Givi one which is a little bit higher uh, which I don't think you have to drill going back towards the back of the bike um, just before Christmas at eBay they were advertising these side panels these have come from France uh, Puig because they just uh, stop any crud that might be developing from the back wheel so that's been fitted in addition to a mare uh, rear hugger which is there and it just fastens with two tie clips at the top and uh, had one fitted on the old BM fantastic bit of kit hardly anyone gets anywhere on that one uh, going up a little bit I thought that uh, the back of the rack was uh, although it's a, a good device didn't give much uh, flexibility for putting any bungee cords or anything like that so I came across this one, that's a plate that you fit on the back and that's from Rugged Roads. Also from Rugged Roads uh, I had a, uh, a fat footer and that was fitted and that came off the old uh, 2008 GS but like everything else there's nothing that seems to be interchangeable between this model the LC and the old uh, air cooled bikes. Just going around the back uh, just have a look at the side panel on the other side 
quite neat of these because there's a, there's a bracket there that's fastened and then there's a rubber mount you push the, the uh, plate onto the rubber mount and then just screw it into place the other side of the uh, crash bars and then probably another addition probably thinking about I don't know uh, radiator guards and I do like my comfort so I'll probably be looking at a, uh, a bigger screen I know Pyrrhic do on uh, probably a tinted one just a light tint and we'll see how it goes and as soon as the weather gets a little bit better we'll be out and we'll probably be looking at how to fit the autocom and uh, suitable places to fit the, uh, the GoPro or the HD drift cameras. Thanks for watching.